Ewing sarcoma is the second most common type of bone cancer in children. Thanks to a grant from St. Baldrick's, UT Health San Antonio is well on its way to finding a cure for this aggressive disease. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker spoke with one of their researchers and a local high school football player who is battling the disease himself. It was through a fracture in my right ulna. My right arm. That's how 15 year old Seth Ibarra found out he had Ewing sarcoma. He said that it might have been a cyst, but then the lady that was um, looking at it, she said that she wanted me to get an MRI because it might have possibly looked like a tumor. Two weeks later, he got his diagnosis. Never thought this would happen to me. It is very, very curable in the scenario where it's localized, so where it's only in one, one location, and that was the case for Seth. There's a singular mutation that causes this, the cell to become cancer and giving rise to the Ewing tumor. Dr. David Libich has been studying Ewing sarcoma for the past two years. He says the grant from St. Baldrick's is a big deal. There's not a lot of funding dedicated to uh, pediatric cancers, mostly because they're extremely rare relative to the occurrences of, of adult cancers. He's using nuclear magnetic resonance to study the disease that he says needs targeted therapies instead of the heavy chemo that Ibarra had to endure. The kids, the children, can't withstand these assaults um, as adults would. But even after all the chemo and surgeries... They had took out my right ulna, about 12 centimeters. From my fibula and my leg, they took about 12 centimeters as well. And with support from his fan club at University Hospital and with this brace for his foot... They had to, like, stretch out my nerves so that they can be able to get the bone out. Ibarra was back to playing sports as soon as he could. In August, I had finished chemo, and by December, January, I ended up going back to playing sports immediately. In the end, it's like, it shaped me into who I am. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.